Okay guys, it's been a little while since I've seen you. I'm just going to do a quick video, this is going to be some fun. Um, I haven't done a video for a while as I've not got anything in my car at the moment um, and I've basically not got any new equipment so I've got nothing to show you but um, this is an idea which I had which some of you will know about. As you know, I had some Digital Designs gear, which I bought a job lot of. This is one of the ones which remaining, um, all the rest of it sold. This is a 1000 Series 12, 300 watts RMS, and it's in a bad state of repair. As you can see, it's got a lot of damage to the cone there. Uh, basically, ripping the cone, ripping the surround, um, deformed cone, um, not very good at all. So I've got the recone for it, sitting over there. I've already reconed one of these as a pair of these, um, but this one's got a good coil. It actually still works. So whilst it's still good, I thought we'd have some fun with it and see what numbers we can push. Now I don't have a box for a single 12, so I just took this prefab box here, which is designed for two 12s, um, and I am going to plug up one of the holes with this plate here, stick in a four inch flared port there, which I did a dodgy bit of flaring on. I just did a very quick job. This is just a piece of crap fart box for each to see what numbers we can pull with this. Um, I had to cut um, a hole inside the box there, um, so that it was a single chamber box rather than a twin chamber box so the sub goes in the top one and the port bit can go in the bottom one there um, just a really quick fix really um, there we go Bevid's fart box mk1 dd sub dodgy flared port four inch cover prefab box let's see what you can do okay guys so the fart box is in uh this is 12 there got the old port Sticking up there, um, let's see what it can do. The amplifier is a Crown Macrotech 2400. This will do a solid, and I mean a solid, 2100 watts RMS uh, at 4 ohms or at 1 ohm. And if you don't understand that, look into uh, Bridge Parallel. Um, I have this as a little preamplifier. It's a piece of shit, really. It's a little Vibe Delta Box base generator. Has a crossover on it, and it also has a bit of a little built in amplifier so I can amplify the signal before it goes to the crown. Um, I've got a little bit of test tones on my phone up here. Uh, so let's just see how loud it sounds. I don't have a term lab yet, but I'll have this on the term lab soon. Uh, this is just literally to see how bassy it sounds on its own. Right, so let's start it off at 30 hertz. I've got my little bass knob here, so let's give it a go. See what it sounds like. Let's get this zoomed in on there. Focus on the sub so you can see it moving like cray cray. All right, let's go. Okay, cool. So 30 hertz, maybe a little low for it. Um, the What I've got a problem is on the sub there, the tape and everything on there is a tiny little air leak and also where the cone has been deformed already uh, it's kind of like flexing and shaking about uh, so I'm losing a lot of pressure through the cone just being warped uh, so let's try a little bit higher frequency let's go for 35 go on up in here on my little phone app this is called Funk Gen by the way this app uh, it's just a basic frequency generator it allows you to do sweeps as well uh, as basic uh, tones square waves etc right 35 that's quite a nice frequency let's hit it up see what it sounds like focus in on the sub and uh, now let's hit it. Whoa, bit of distortion there, don't know if you heard that. I'm not sure if that's the amp or the sub. Amp's fucking hot, but it's probably because it's in the sun. Uh, yeah, it's just the sun patch that's hot. Okay, I don't think that is amplifier clipping actually, because as you can see, the clipping LEDs there don't come on. So I think that is just the sub. Um, sounds like a bit of coil rub or something. Okay, so this is 40 hertz now. Okay guys, got the Digital Designs uh, temporary fart box, whatever it is up here, um, in the room this time. Uh, in the car it sounded pretty good, uh, but there was some problems um, when running the crown amplifier in the car, um, in the boot, and I thought that the amplifier was clipping out as it was making a dreadful sound. However, uh, as now I've pulled it up into the room and I've actually had a look at it and watched it move, um, it's something else that's causing the noise, and um, this is quite incredible considering this is only a 300 watt, 600 watt RMS subwoofer, um, actually being able to do this to itself, so let's just give you a demonstration, uh, a bit of decaf, zip 26, Right, zoom in on the sub now, just watch this go crazy. Can you see that? 
but that is the actual cone of the subwoofer um, creasing there under its own power. Um, it's not warm yet. The amplifier which is on is in fact um, it's not that great to be honest. It's, it's a loudest.com amp down there on, on, a, on a PSU. Um, it's a server PSU. It's very powerful. I've got another one sitting here as well so I can parallel them up for some serious power. But anyway, um, Amplified does about 1000 watts RMS at 4 ohms bridged which is what this is, single 4 ohm coil. So this is getting 1000 watts RMS and it does do rated. Um, so for it's, it's slightly overpowering it. I'm not overpowering it as much as I would have liked to with the crown amp in the car being 2k. Um, but it's still kicking out more power than it's designed to. Uh, but until I can get that sorted out, the old creasing cone there, um, it's going to sound a bit shit um, whilst I'm bumping this very loud. Now, a minute ago, I did play a ridiculous tune uh, that hit very, very low. I think it was this one, Blown Instrumental on the decaf. Um, the port there was blowing out some serious air. I'll try to play it again. There'll be less bass this time because the cone is now deformed. Uh, it wasn't doing it a second ago when I tried this before I turned the camera on unfortunately but let's just see whether we can get the similar air movement so I can show you what it, what it was like because we're kind of crazy bit of blood it's a lovely tune nice soft deep bass okay let's crank this up check it out on the older uh, meter there 1.98 1.97 the lowest is dropping to which is pretty good bearing in mind it's only one uh, one uh, PSU Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, so let's pause this music right here. So, yeah, I'm not going to get much more SPL or much more bass from it uh, whilst the cone is doing that like crazy. Let's do this again. This time I'm going to hold the bit that moves in place so it doesn't make a silly noise. I'll take it to pull off now. It's getting warm, but it's still going, man. I've been bumping this for ages. It's pretty warm. Let's go in here, have a feel. Yep, the motor is quite warm, but there's you know no smell of coil, no no burning voice coil smell whatsoever. Still not blowing. Let's see if this one will send it on its way.
get it. It's just fucking ripping itself to pieces before it's blowing the coil up. Look. Look at that. It's just ripping itself to bits. So much motor strength in these woofers. This one should just about do it. Fucking hell. It's dead, mate. Sake, still going. <laughs> oh, my God. This one should do it. Come on. Right, last try. Drop it like it's hot rebase. My style. I don't think it's gonna go guys. Not on this amplifier anyway. Kicking out a true thousand watts RMS. And it's just ripping itself to pieces before the coil goes. Fucking hell. That's pretty crazy shit right there. It's quite hot, but I don't think it's gonna go. It's too much cooling. I need more need more watts. Need about 15, 200, 2000, uh, 1500, 2000 watts RMS maybe to get that going. But yeah, fuck.